Nefertafel is usually played on a board with 13 by 13 squares. In the middle of the board is the king's throne. Only the king may enter the throne. At the beginning of the game there is the king surrounded by his 12 men. The corner squares represent the king's escape castles. These castles may only be entered by the king. Only two types of pieces are distinguished in the Nefertafel. Two sides are distinguished as in chess, but here the center is playing against the outer players, who don't have a king but have twice as many men. The goal of the defenders is to allow the king to flee to one of the corner squares. The attacker's first goal is to prevent this escape. In addition, the king should be captured. All games does move like the tower in chairs, only in vertical and horizontal direction. This means that any number of free fields can be moved. Each turn must end in a free field. The first move is only made by the attackers. There is a move constraint. EA, one move must be made in each round. A piece is taken by being captured between two opposing game stones. If they have been moved horizontal or vertical next to the corresponding piece, a king may also be captured. However, if a piece is moved between two opposite game stones, this is not considered a capture. On the contrary, the opponent even has to make one more move to clear the board in order to capture this piece. The escape castle are considered to be an enemy piece for both white and black. In order to hit an opponent directly next to such a corner castle, you only need one piece. There are more ways to capture someone in the game, but that's enough for now. The king is captured on the throne or on any other ordinary field by four opposing game stones. The game is won if the king is captured or if he has managed to escape to one of the castles.